Hello, good afternoon. I'm Lisa Steinberg. I'm with Starry Constellation Magazine, and I'm joined today by Maya Lowe from Murder in a Small Town. Thank you so much for uh, spending your afternoon and taking time to, to speak with me today. Yeah, of course. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, well, personally, it's a, a huge pleasure to, for me because um, I'm a fan of your work on uh, My Life with the Walter Boys. And uh, I did uh, really love your uh, episode through Dead Boy Detectives. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Just to say that I'm a fan of your work is is uh, pretty accurate. <laughs> so, oh, thanks so much. I, I really love to also watch your Instagram um, when you're dancing and sharing a lot of, um, you know, your personality and who you are personally as well. Thank you. I really appreciate that. To focus on murder in a small town. Yeah. <laughs> what kind, your character is Corporal Yen. What kind of breakdown did you receive uh, about her and what kind of really stood out to you about the character? Um, I, yeah, I, I went right, right when I read her uh, breakdown, I was very excited about her and intrigued and um, a little intimidated by her. Uh, she's supposed to be very, very smart, um, speak several languages, uh, sort of ahead of her, the people in her age, like age group. Um, she works very, very hard and is sort of surrounded, surrounds herself with her own work. And um, it was definitely a little intimidating to me because it, it's a woman who's working in a profession that I'm not super experienced in. Um, but right when I you know, saw the sides and saw that it was actually the interrogation scene um, from episode one, I was so interested in it. And when I got to kind of play around with it and in my audition, I, I kind of fell in love with the character. Um, so yeah, I was definitely intimidated by her at first, but it's been such an honor to get to play her and get to sort of figure her out more and more as the season went on. And I'm still learning more things about her as I kind of watch it as well. So uh, yeah, that's kind of how it got started. I, I love that she's very direct as well. Um, there's a lot of layers to her. We obviously have seen episode one um, and that's all so far. Um, so yeah. there's much more um, for her to dig into, much more for us to dig into her about um, your character as well. Um, but I do love that she's like very direct and that she also um, gets down to business like right away as well. Like her job um, seems to be obviously very important to her um, as it should be. <laughs> um, yeah. And, yeah. and uh, the interrogation scene was, was really great um, to get to see um, that, like um, that grit that, that, that exists in, in her um, yeah. and get a little taste of like who she is as both um, a, a, a officer. And then also um, we'll get, hopefully get to see a little bit more personally from her uh, as well. Yes, definitely. And as she gets more sort of integrated into the, the office and getting to work more closely with Alberg um, and Sid, I think that she really starts to find her place um, throughout the episodes, because obviously in the beginning, she's just she's just come in um, and sort of grabbed the reins and just gone with it. Uh, and so that in that way, you can tell that she's very professional, but it is really cool to see her relationships form with the people around her and how um, she's not the top of the chain here. So she has to listen to the people around her and, and learn from each of them. And I think something that I really love about Edwina is that she is really willing to learn. Um, there isn't a lot of ego there in terms of her job. She really wants to just be the best that she can be. Yes. I mean, even in the, in the first episode, I mean, she, she starts off like the minute she gets there. Yeah. <laughs> shows yeah. Up in the police department. And, um, really gets down to business uh, of things. Um, and she does, uh, you can see even in episode one, um, all this great learning process that's going on because obviously each officer has their own way of examining a case or handling certain things. And um, certainly the head of the police department, he has a very specific way that he uh, does cases. Yes. And, um, and also we know from like the beginning um, that Edwina has come in and she's um, obviously a well-polished uh, officer, um, possibly acclaimed in a certain capacity um, from her mm -hmm. previous work. Um, mm -hmm. And then the way that she interacts with um, Aaron Douglas's character is different from the police chief's, def you know, um, yeah. 
dynamic. So um, I know we touched on it, or you touched on it a little bit, but um, you know, what does, what does she bring to the department that sets her apart from, and then what does she, what does she start to learn more as she does um, develop these inter-office dynamics? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think there is uh, something to be said about like her youth and the fact that she is um, of the younger generation. Um, she's definitely well adjusted. I think that um, a lot of you'll see her quite a bit in her realm, which is um, technology as well. So doing the tracking, doing um, the work on the computer uh, is huge for her. She's she's quick with it. And uh, that's something that, you know, we all we all have our own things in the show that we kind of do and we focus on and are are good at. Um, I do think that as the season goes on, she starts to learn, especially from Alberg, um, how just observing can can do so much for you. Um, it's not all about the technical aspects and and the things that she's trained herself to to be good at. It's about um, being a real person at the end of the day. And I think that Alberg is really great, uh, a great example of that. He's just he is a regular guy um, in his outside life and his life with Cassandra as well. Um, but he really challenges her to just be a human and to speak to people like they are people and um, understand and, and empathize with the people around her as well. And I think that that is something I really like about Yen as well is that is that she truly cares about the work, but she also cares about the people that she's dealing with. Um, she hasn't become desensitized to that uh, despite her previous experiences. And she has chosen and agreed to come into this small town um, from the big city, as they refer to. And um, the reason for that comes up eventually, too. It, it's There's so much in her past that um, is still yet to be discovered or, or brought up, but it makes it really more like really exciting. Um, she's kind of a bit of a mystery. I mean, these are also male a lot of male characters that she interacts with um, yeah. officers that she's working with. Um, she has, I don't know if we call her like the office administrator or not, but um, she has her. Um, yeah. Our receptionist um, played by Savannah. Yes. Yeah. As, as yeah. Like, you know, someone who's a new friend. Um, yeah. But everybody else is like male. It's all male dominated. Otherwise really. It's a very male dominated workplace. Um and I, I, that's also why I love her relationship with Savannah, because they find their little moments of like, oh, I know what you're thinking here. We don't have to say it. It's that woman to woman thing, um, which is really fun to play with. But yeah, absolutely. The fact that it is male dominated. I think that Yen, um, wherever she has just come from, has definitely had to deal with her own um, the prejudices that she's experienced it and, and, you know, racism even as well. I think that that's definitely a reality. Uh, and, you know, sexism in the workplace as well. Yeah, so, I mean, we see that um, also in, in the the interrogation scene um, mm -hmm. with Aaron Douglas's character as well. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, um, yeah. There'll be some some of that to look forward to um, mm -hmm. thing, uh, as the season goes on. Really? We touched on the fact that the show is called Murder in a Small Town. Yeah. Um, and Yen goes from a big, bigger, big city, you know, life to this, this small town. Um, but quite often um, the setting itself can become a character. And I wanted to ask a little bit about how this Gibbons um, kind of also plays a role in this series throughout the season as well. Um, having it set in such a, a rural, but lush, beautiful woodland type area. Yeah. Type area. Oh yeah, very remote. You can only get there by ferry. It's um, it was so special. Uh, my mom actually grew up in Gibson, so uh, she got to come out and and hang out. And I brought her to set and everything, and she showed me the places that she sort of grew up in. But it was really, really special to be staying there and living there um, and immersing myself in the town while filming there as well. Um, a lot of locals. I mean, most of our background were were locals, and they were so excited to be a part of the show as well. It had been a while since they've had something come and film there, especially for that long. Uh, and yeah, I think the setting plays a huge, huge role in the show. Um, it's so beautiful, and I think that's what really sets it apart. Is just 
Um, there's very distinct spots in the show that you'll see come up over and over again. Again, it's not a huge town. So we're using these sort of locations that are so distinct. Um, but you can see also as like the seasons change, we get more into, you know, spring, uh, just how much of a role that plays in it as well. Uh, it was, yeah, it was, it was such a special um, experience. And I was so grateful to have gotten to shoot in sun- on the Sunshine Coast. It's something that I, it's almost underrated. Um, I would come back to my friends in Vancouver and be like, you guys have to come and see this place. I feel like no one's talking about it enough. Um, but that's also what makes it so special. It's not super busy and compact. It's like the people that are there have been there for a long time. And um, it really felt like we were part of Gibson's by the end. And yeah, we didn't even, we didn't want to leave. Like I remember a lot of the crew were saying like, oh, I just, I love it here. Like I want to buy a place here now. Um, So yeah, it it definitely played a huge role. Uh, You're also certainly um, surrounded by a lot of um, a wonderful, amazing talent uh, as well within the the core cast. I mean, you've got Um, Siv and and, and Aaron and and Kristen, of course. And yeah, you know, Stana. (laughs) <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah oh she's so cool yeah it, we we were so lucky with the guest stars that we had um every episode we just like they killed it they killed it every time and everyone was so kind and I feel like everyone came in again with that same feeling of being grateful for shooting in such a beautiful place like there's no way to really describe it and but I think almost everyone had a, like either never been there before or never even heard of it. So um, having that opportunity was really cool. And yeah, the cast was just, I mean, I, I worked very closely with Ross and Aaron uh, mostly. And, and that was always just so much fun on set. It's like for two, you know, older men, they, they, it's like being with two little eight-year-old boys sometimes. And it's in the best way, in the best way. They, they bring the energy. Aaron especially brings so much energy and comedy to the set. And everyone just like fell in love with Aaron. He became one of my best friends and we would hang out all the time and chat. And um, he's been, really been like almost a father figure to me um, since working on the show. So he's great. And Kristen, I, I was really lucky to have gotten to have some scenes with her this season and, and have gotten to see how she works as well, because she's so, so incredibly down to earth and kind and um, vulnerable in her interacting. Like she gives so much and uh, it, that's like all you can ask for in a scene partner. I just love watching Kristen's acting because she brings this like innate, like, spirit like or innate like vulnerability or like also like empathetic you know empathy and things like you know there's I could list <laughs> but, yeah. yeah she's but. so open so open and and you can tell really in her scenes with Ross of especially they're both so open with each other and I remember our first table read um seeing them read that scene together in the diner I was like wow okay now I I understand where this show is going and I understand the tone that they're wanting because just I can just tell from this chemistry here um yeah it was it was really special to observe well we we've only gotten to watch um one episode so far but this season already seems like um it's going to offer uh fans a lot of different elements that are going to really strike a chord what do you specifically think either um maybe certain episodes that stand out to you Um, or at least certain elements that you think are going to really continue to draw people in uh, to watch the series? Yeah, uh, I think one thing that really stands out about this show is that it's it's not always a whodunit. It's like a why done it, it's a how done it. It, it, You never really know what you're going to get each time you click onto an episode. And every time I opened a script, I I really had no idea. Um, I was reading the books as well. um, And they kind of they would take the story of the books as well and, and integrate that as well. But um, it, it really is so unpredictable in certain ways. And uh, each guest star brings something really different, which I appreciate a lot. I don't, I don't feel that the episodes are repetitive at all. Each story is so different. Uh, yeah, so I, I feel like that, that definitely brings this element that will keep audiences on their toes. You just never really know what you're going to get each week that's uh that's so great because like it's like an hour-long episode but you feel like you're holding your breath or you're trying to figure out the different elements yourself while you're looking at it through all these different 
perspectives it offers. Uh, it was why you know the way I watched the episode that episode one with James Cromwell's character. You know what was Rosev thinking? Like where is he piecing these together? Like you know where is where did the outside person? Who else could have it have been? Like it offers you a lot of different elements. So it sort of obviously turns it. It's keep keeps turning on itself to fit for so you don't obviously even you know instantly figure out what's what's the problem yeah. you know what's happening you're, yeah. you're not able to take the time just as the characters are taking the time to figure out what element am I missing yes there's always other details that aren't revealed right away um so whether you know who did the murder or not there's also like why why would you do that or what is there that we're missing um which is such a huge thing for Alberg. That's like, what, what is here that isn't? And what isn't here that should be? And, you know, like, it's, it's such an interesting way to think, but uh, I think that's what kind of keeps people like watching. Um, yeah, just trying to like wrap your head around how he thinks. And I think as the series goes on as well, you start to kind of understand him more and more. You start to understand each of these characters. They all have a backstory and they all have a reason that they're there and a reason why they work the way that they do. So I, I think that that um, I'm, I'm really excited to see what people think as they continue to watch and, and learn more about these characters. Are you looking at any of like the social media aspects of like, you know, watching people try to piece it together while they tweet and go like, what does she think she's doing? <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I, I have so much fun. I've been like, yeah, especially over the last couple of days, just like reading through um, people who are watching it and uh, what they're thinking and like, yeah, just how shocking some of the things are. And um, even up on the performances like James Cromwell, I mean, he's just a legend and getting to work with him um, was like a dream come true. And just getting to hang out in this beautiful place and sit in the green room and sit outside in the sun and just chat. And I mean, yeah, I felt very, very fortunate to have shared the screen with him and have gotten to see how he works as well because he's just it's so effortless with him. Well, uh, beyond um, Murder in a Small Town, are there any other projects that we're going to get to see you coming up with? Maybe season two of My Life with the Walter Boys or uh, any other uh, things that we can come to watch? Totally. Yeah. I mean, I'm in Calgary right now filming season two um, of My Life with the Walter Boys, which I'm very excited about. Uh, yeah, we're kind of getting into the last like two months here. But it's been awesome and obviously a very different um, tone and, and theme, different character from um, what I play on Murder in the Small Town. But it's fun to bounce between that. And yeah, for fans of that, I, I think that they're they're really going to enjoy it. Uh, there's new storylines coming in, new characters, new. Yeah, it's like I, I there's not much I can say, but <laughs> I think people are going to be be happy and surprised and shocked and everything all the emotions wonderful well those are all of my questions my uh as a fan to have the opportunity to to chat with you uh, and discuss your new series murder in a small town and this beautiful character edwina yen um that i really um she really stuck out to me and, and i'm looking forward to kind of watching her work watching her personally, professionally, and just kind of seeing how she starts to fit in uh, in this small town of Gibbons. So thank you yeah. for your time. And um, I'm excited also to watch you more in My Life with the Walter Boys. I really love that show. Um, and to have the, that you're coming back. I love to hear that too. <laughs> because yeah, uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I yeah, love, I love the character dynamics. Like, like we're talking about direct <laughs> opposite of things, like oh yeah, teen and then like a younger adult type yeah. character um, that uh, I really admire to to get a chance to see um, the versatility that that you have with your acting and the wonderful range that we get to watch as well. Oh, thank you so much. I, I, I really that. That. I'm I'm glad that we got to chat today and and talk about Edwina and all the things. And I'm so glad to hear you're a fan of both shows. That's great. <laughs> that makes me happy. Well, hopefully I'll have the opportunity then. Uh, you're filming season two of my life, my life with the Walter boys, but let them going to knock on, on wood or, you know, and all the good stuff uh, for season two of murder in a small town. Me too. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you. I look forward to the next time we get to chat and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks so much. You as well. Thank you. Thank you both. Take Thank care. You guys. Thanks.